Hey guys, this is Matt, and I'm back with another tower defense tutorial where I'm going to be talking about our main menu and uh, also how to persist data between scenes. So our menu, we were wanting to go for a Prezi presentation kind of uh, feel, so you jump from each of these menus uh, on the scene. And you also have a parallaxing effect from uh, all these different layers at different depths. So let's uh, go ahead and go into game and take a look at what I'm talking about. So you start off on the start screen, you can click anywhere, and then you can go, press new game, then you choose your map, we're going to choose an open map, and now the difficulty on easy. And you saw our uh, black loading screen there too. So now we have 200 money and 100 health, and the map doesn't have anything in it, so you know we can put towers anywhere. So now let's go and change our options. So we're going to start, new game, a grid map and on hard. So now you see that there are these obstacles in the way which you can't build on. And also you started with a 100 money and 50 health instead of the 200 and 100. So that's the kind of data that we're passing and now let's uh, let's take a look at what these objects actually are that we're clicking on. These are just 3D texts and the buttons have box colliders on them. That's uh, what we. That's what you use to detect the clicks. And we also have the uh, load screen. And the load screen is actually uh, something that's really simple. Uh, we just uh, have a GUI texture, and then turn the alpha all the way down. So uh, if we turn it up, this should show right away. Yeah. So it's always there. It just has an alpha value of zero. So that's a an easy that's the that's the way we implemented the load screen and I'll show you uh, exactly what we do to make it show up in script. So taking a look at our script, we have our main menu and this is what really controls our uh, our camera. So we have these go to main menu, go to map selection, difficulty selection. This jumps the camera from uh, menu to menu in the presentation Prezi kind of uh, style. And we also have this game state, which is also inside of Object Manager. So this is what Object Manager uses, our, our singleton class Object Manager uses to keep track of the state of the game. And the information that it takes in is are the, the three data types that we were passing, the health, the money, and the map type. So. Uh, so that's the main menu class, basically. There's also a go-to game where the uh, game gets created. And this is also where the load scene comes into, uh, into play. So whenever you do a application.load level, it, uh, it doesn't block on this line. So it actually it continues on. So right after you do the uh, load level, in order to do a loading scene, you can just have those two GUIs so we have the black background. We turn it to uh, we we turn the transparency off. Or we turn the transparencies off on the black background, and then also uh, we have uh, another icon that you can uh, put in there too. You know, like you normally see in games. And I bet you could also do this with some sort of sprite or something to make it animated with the the same kind of. Uh, of logic that way. And on our buttons we have all of our buttons have their own uh, script on them so on a mouse down it changes the color to red and then on a mouse up it'll call the appropriate method. So this one, uh, uh, this new game is going to go to the map selection menu and then from the map selection menu you're going to go to the difficulty selection. And from the difficulty selection menu on the mouse up, you're actually going to do a start game. So whenever we do the easy, we're going to take the uh, the game state from our menu, and we're going to set the health and money accordingly. And then same thing with the uh, with the uh, map selection. You're going to set the map map type to whichever map the player just selected. And then go into the new game. That's the method we were just in. So you take that data, 
you make the object manager. This is a singleton class, so you get an instance, and then you set the game state and the object manager equal to the, the game state of the menu. And since the, so this is a singleton class, which means there's only one instance of it. Uh, and this instance is shared. Turns out it's actually shared between all of the scenes. I, I had a, I, I thought that this is the way it would work, and it, it did, and it turned out it was just a really easy way to, to pass data. I know there are other methods, but uh, this is the first one I tried, and it was the most intuitive to me. Uh, that's about it on the, for this video, actually. Yeah, so we covered our uh, map menu, our menu, how we go from uh, submenu to submenu. We have the load screens and, uh, and passing data. Yeah, that's about it. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.